Okay, so I just asked you to create a block called square that draws a square of sides 100. Hopefully you didn't have too much difficulty doing that, but just in case, let's walk through the, uh, the solution to this. It's, it's really not too difficult if you understood what I was asking. So I'm going to make a block, and I'm going to call this square. Right? So I make a block called square, add it in. You'll see here's my definition uh, topper, right? and so here's where my code goes. Well, what is a square? Well, a square is a loop that says four times I want you to move forward 100 steps and turn 90 degrees. Right? That's what we did earlier in the course. And so that's rather than just creating this as, as code out here, let's create a block called square. And so I, I don't know why I want a square at the end of my B, but let's just do it anyway. Right? Uh, I'm going to create a square after I draw the, the, the humps of my letter B. And so let's look at this again. Right? There we go. There's the humps of the B. And then we make a very fast square. It goes very quickly with our current uh, program and, and I could then you know add, add multiple squares into here. I could do multiple things, and that's how we create a, a, another block. You may remember that when we first introduced uh, variables, I said, "Hey, there's no problem having multiple variables in a program. In fact, it's often something we want. We want multiple variables. Similarly, there's no problem having multiple uh, functions, multiple blocks that you create." in your program. And so you can create this block and use it over and over in this code, or you can export it and copy and paste it to other programs. And there now you don't have to create this time and time again. You can you can create and use this square once and then use it over and over again in all of your programs.